There is this magical thing called language that allows us all to talk to each other. And right now, here in China, I don't have that magic. Chinese is hard and I'm still learning. So today I'm testing a way to meet people without language. I'm Craig and this is Cinemax Something, a show where I compete against myself to make each episode more interesting than the last. Looks like we need to go up a little bit and to the right. I'm currently looking for something, and I'm having a little trouble. I took a wrong turn. Time for some correction here. If only I could go through there. There's a big fence. A few weeks ago, a follower invited me to an event here in Shenzhen, and it seemed pretty interesting, right. so I decided to check it out. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of people. I didn't know what to expect other than it was a women's soccer tournament and everyone loves some football. 12 teams from all over China came to compete and they seemed to have a good time. They even seemed to get along. I mean, look at all these people hanging out with each other. I spent most of my time trying to follow this little ball around the field, which proved to be really difficult. If I can get in there too. Keep going. This is the organizer kid, and he's the one who invited me. In the moment, I decided to do the interview in Chinese. Uh, so, uh, Let's let's just let's just do it okay. in uh, in English. So, what do you think people can learn from this competition? Oh, that's a very good question because that's what we focus on. Mm -hmm. I think they could understand that uh, girls could be tough and they could be competitive, aggressive. Yeah, they could be strong. Can you describe a little bit more how soccer connects people? Oh yeah, you know, in the past, the the, the two teams they play against each other like like. They don't like each other, but uh, for us, they could uh, immediately uh, be friends after the game. Yeah, that's, that's very interesting. I really like that. Be friends, play, but have a strong competition. I think that's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for inviting me today. It's really a pleasure to be here. This whole experience got me thinking about how sports can be used to transcend language. Maybe I can use a sport to meet people that I don't know, even though I can't talk to them. And instantly I thought of this ancient Chinese game called Jensa. It's simple enough that anyone can play. And I figured maybe I could go to the park and people could join in. So it's time to set off on a little social experiment. Can I meet someone, anyone, by playing Jensa? Let's find out. I noticed a few people watching me, but I think the only thing they saw was a foreigner getting more and more sweaty as the sun went down. I'm not sure I would want to play with some sweaty guy in the park either. I'll get over it, but I'm pretty disappointed no one wanted to play with me. A few years ago when I was in Beijing, I was at the base of the drum tower. While there, I saw a few aunties playing Jensa. I joined in and I had a great time. I guess I was hoping to recreate that experience. But I wanted to embody what Kid had said at the soccer tournament about being confident and strong. 
So I went ahead and gave it another shot. And pretty quickly, these boys showed up. So I asked them if they wanted to play. In the end, it was interesting how the experiment worked. And I think it says something about us as people. We can work together, even with an obstacle as big as a language barrier. Really impressive. That's it for today. Thanks to Kid for inviting me to the Infinite Women's Football Club Soccer Tournament. Find out more in the description. You know what else helps promote cross-cultural interaction? This channel, Cinematic Something. Subscribe if you want to see more.